The Rob Elementary School has now taken its place alongside Sandy Hook, Columbine, Parkland. Yet another school shooting to haunt America. This time, primary school-aged children killed in their classroom. The faces and the names are different, but this has become an awful fact of life in America. The first of the victims to be identified was teacher Eva Morelles, herself a mother, wife of a policeman, a career educator who was very loved, according to her family. The White House flag was lowered to mourn the lives taken. A president and his wife, a teacher herself, of course, wrestling with the horror and the helplessness. An elementary school, beautiful, innocent, second, third, fourth graders, <clears throat> and how many scores of little children who witness what happened see their friends die as if they're on a battlefield, for God's sake? When, in God's name, are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? This is the gunman who was responsible. Salvador Ramos bought the rifles on his 18th birthday. He crashed his car before entering the school around midday, moving between the classrooms until he was shot dead by a police officer. My heart was broken today for a small community, and we will need your prayers to get us through this. Uvalde in Texas is now the scene of the deadliest primary school shooting since Sandy Hook almost 10 years ago. Many believe that massacre of six and seven-year-olds would change everything. It shames America that nothing has changed. But once again, the calls for gun control come. By doing something, we at least stop sending this quiet message of endorsement to these killers whose brains are breaking, who see the highest levels of government doing nothing. The grief is unimaginable for the families of Uvalde, but this is the 27th school shooting this year in the United States. A country wondering what it will take for anything to ever change. very dreadful attack and it took place in the town of Uvalde as you said which is a small town about 80 miles west of the city of San Antonio around noon the school district wrote on Twitter that there was an active shooter in the elementary school and warned people to stay away and then after that it didn't release very much information while the authorities focused on contacting the parents but now the governor Greg Abbott has spoken and he has confirmed that 14 children were killed uh, as well as a teacher. He has also said that the shooter was an 18-year-old male. He's named him as Salvador Ramos. Uh, it's believed that this man uh, walked into the school armed with a rifle uh, and a handgun. Uh, he himself has been killed. Uh, he was killed by a responding 
uh, officers. It's not at all clear what his motive was, uh, but the focus right now um, is to reunite the parents with their children. Uh, the, uh, the school has set up uh, that, a reunification center uh, just about a mile and a half um, from the school. And you know, Hugh, of course, that uh, mass shootings are not uncommon in the United States, um, in, including at schools. Students, in fact, are taught how to respond to such a situation. But the number of dead uh, in, this, in this case and the age of the children in elementary school makes this one of the worst school shootings in recent memory.